the name Let's association, go. and it Bring is. Bring it on! I'm going to give you a sentence. You got the nasty boy in a good mood. Oh, good man, good man. Uh, I'm going to give you a description, a sentence. I want you to tell me okay. the first name that comes into your mind. It could be from any locker room anywhere, and the first one is funniest person in the locker room. Um, Kurt Henning was pretty funny in the locker room. Mm-hmm. Is it, yeah. Uh, next question is stiffest or most reckless in the ring? Wow. The nasty boy stuff. <laughs> no, I, I, I won't let you say yourself. I won't let you say yourself. Uh, I don't know. You know, there were a lot of uh, guys that, that, that laid it in. When we wrestled, we, we didn't care. Like, uh, the Steiners are pretty stiff. I mean, you know, but they, they never hurt us. Uh, even even Bret Hart, you know, when we, we, they used to throw us in the corner when we had them six man, and he kicked the kick us in the head. I would tell us, Brett, you're supposed to be the the Mister Light guy, and I said you're kicking our head off every night. What are you What are you talking about? You know, but uh, there were certain guys on occasions that would play a couple. And the Road Warriors, of course, were were solid. You know, but uh, you know, nothing that hurt us. You know, it, it's wrestling. I it mean. You know, you're supposed to be hit, so it's no big deal. You know what I mean? It's, you know, we were used to it, so it was it wasn't nothing to us. So uh, there were a lot of guys that hit hit us back, and 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 uh, you know, uh, nobody nobody ever really stepped over the line. I mean, when we when we got sputted, we got sputted, and that you know that's that's part of the game. It happens every now and again. You know, most memorable thing you ever saw on an airplane? Oh. Damn. Well, that you can talk I don't about. Know. <laughs> no, but I don't. I, I'm. I don't know. We always had good times on on a plane. We we never. Uh, we weren't there for that. All that that other crazy stuff. But uh, you know, I did have uh, a a thing going on when you no. Know, I, I don't know if uh, the time Rick Flair's eyebrows got shaded, but somehow it was like a young guy, old guy feud, and somehow someone picked me to go like. Part, you know, go go against Piper. Like I'm gonna go against Piper uh, in, in in partying and stuff. Are you kidding me? So I was passed out. He put shaving cream and smacked my face, and went, I would wake up like a minute later, and there was no one around. I had shaving cream on my face. And he did all kind of stuff to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that was. I didn't remember half of it, but I knew it was. I read <laughs> smack marks on my face from Piper. <laughs> you know, but we, we were learning. We were just the kids in the business. You know, we just got into WWE, so or WWF at the time. But hey. that's uh, yeah. So next one I've got now is uh, most high strung or edgy nervous kind of guy. Oh God, who is high strung? I don't know. Um, my brain's so dead I can't remember. But I know there's some. There were some guys that out there always always nervous. Oh God, like uh, God. I nothing comes to mind right now. You don't have to nope. get the next question. Nope. I, I don't know who. Edgy, like uh, nervous wise, I I just can't I can't remember. That's fine. I'll move on to the next one. Best jobber. Uh, best jobber. Well, Barry Horowitz was pretty good. He, he could say he put himself as a good character and got a character out of it, so he was good. You know, Iron Mike Sharp. If you want to go way back, mm -hmm. then you know he was always good. You know, so you know, yeah, you had a couple of guys that really got into. They knew their role and they did their, they did their job really good. But yeah, them two, them two were really, they they were always good. Right. This next one, I've never asked anyone before. Who were the wrestlers who carried a gun with them? Ah, uh, Bill Dundee was one of them. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> just we just talked to Jamie, in fact, as well about uh, Bill yeah. Over, uh, yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, we, we, uh, Bill said he was in the shooters one time when we, we smacked Jamie up a little bit because he was, he was real young at the time and he was real cocky. So we, <laughs> so I held him and so I gave him a couple of real nice little slaps, just <laughs> teach the kid, you know. <laughs> you know, and nothing's Bill changed. Was, nothing's and changed. Bill came, Bill came and said he was going to shoot us and <laughs> I go, bring that gun in here and I'll stick it up your ass and <laughs> pull the trigger. So <laughs> I'll give you a couple more and then we'll move on to the rest of the thing. Uh, okay. Biggest ladies, man. And also who had the lowest standards? 
<laughs> no comment on that one. <laughs> All right. I will move on. <laughs> yeah. No comment. I'm not getting nobody in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, loudest. Well, hey, Mar- I tell you, Marty was a big ladies' man. You see, you're not the first person to say that. Al Snow went. You, you, he was beating him off with a stick, Marty. Yeah, Jeanette. Yeah. I don't know. They they love Marty. He, they are. <laughs> He, he was, he's, and he's still not married, so. <laughs> he's still, well, he's, he's living his best yeah. life then still. Uh, yeah, yeah. Loudest spot caller. Loudest spot caller. Yeah. You know what? Um, I don't know about that one because when you worked with some of the guys, it was like a a tit for a tat. You know what I mean? Like you knew what they were doing. So you didn't have to recall a lot of stuff. You call a couple of stuff out there, but when you knew how to wrestle somebody, like maybe in the beginning you would, you would worry about it, but uh, we never had a problem with that. Nobody really yelled out about spots or anything. You know, it was really, it was really kayfabe back. Our day, uh, kayfabe was really in effect. I mean, if you were caught, I mean, you look what happened with the Duggan and the Sheik. Mm. You know what I mean? That was that was a big that was a big deal there. You know, so it was real strict that you you couldn't you know you, you weren't really supposed to ride with the the baby faces or anything. You know that that was that was a that was really held at a high standard. You know, hey, but wh- now nowadays it's not really held as high. You know, it's it's not that was that was one of the main things back in the eighties and nineties that that kayfabe was one of the biggest things. You know, like hey. You know, you're wrestling this guy, or you're, you know, you, 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 we don't want hanging with him. We don't want you doing anything with him and all that stuff. So, what year did that change? When you know it wasn't like a big deal to ride with the people you were wrestling against. I think after uh, Vince came out after the, the lawsuit and all that, remember, and then he came out and said it was only entertainment. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was ninety three, ninety four, and then after he came out and said, you know, it was only oh, entertainment. You mean the steroid, the a, steroid trial? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think I think that that's the one. That's when that's when it started leaning up. When right after you know Vince himself said, "Hey, this is entertainment," you know, because mm-hmm. before he would never say that. 